see now the Q4 earnings were operationally in line with estimates, but the street is waiting for the Paradip volumes in FY18 as the next big Q. B. Ashok, the chairman of IOC, joins us to talk about that. Mr. Ashok, good morning. Could you run us through the gross refining margins that you have achieved in this quarter and what looks like a sustainable margin trajectory going ahead? Firstly, let me share the uh, uh, GRMs uh, while taking the inventory effect. Uh, we had an, a GRM of 8.95 versus uh, 2.99 during the last year. But the, without the inventory effect, we had a GRM of $6.92 a barrel as against $6 a barrel. Yeah, I am talking of the uh, not, not FY17, I am talking of the last quarter. I am talking of the last quarter. The last quarter GRM without inventory effect was $6.92 a dollar, uh, dollars a barrel as against $6 a barrel for the same period last year. Overall for the year, uh, overall for the year we had a GRM of $7.77 a barrel vis-a-vis $5.06 a barrel for the whole year. This is after taking into account inventory effect. Without the inventory, we had an, for the year, it was $4.99 a barrel uh, as against $7.5 a barrel for the last year. Okay, got that, sir. Uh, now, you know, this quarter's GRMs, as you just pointed out, have been strong because analysts were actually expecting between $5 and $5.5. Can you tell us why you could, uh, you know, surprise them on the positive for such, uh, by almost $2? Let me say that overall, you know, we have had an outstanding year of performance. I mean, while GRMs are, uh, are also a factor of, uh, you know, the international crude prices, the cracks and so on, uh, it is also uh, a matter to be considered that the operational performance has to sustain. And that is where I think we have played a uh, I mean, major role and uh, our operational performance for the whole year has been outstanding. I mean, we have had all our refineries operating at very high levels of throughput. We had a record... Uh, uh, refinery throughput for the current year. I mean, the highest ever in our history. And all our uh, key refineries have been operating excellently well. Uh, not to speak of Paradi. Paradi for the quarter has also been good, but it is uh, it was still in a stabilization phase as far as last quarter is concerned. I think the Paradi impact will come during the current year. Uh, but the rest of the refineries have all been doing extremely well. I mean, some of the big refineries that we have, such as Panipat, Mathura and all that, they have been doing outstandingly well and uh, the throughputs have been uh, really excellent and overall i think our yeah our throughputs have actually gone up by 13.8 percent during this uh, last quarter okay well uh, the mid caps are spiking up now so lots of stocks you should look at you know voltas dish tv jet Airways, all reaching the high point and syntax is up almost 20 percent right now so just look at the chart of syntax uh, volumes also spiking up over there, of course, in the news. Uh, before we end, uh, sir, can you tell us what was the throughput and the sales that you saw in the last quarter? As far as throughputs are concerned, uh, refinery throughputs have uh, actually improved by 13.8%. We have done 2.068 million tons more uh, refining than the corresponding period in the last quarter of last year. Uh, I mean, coming forward, uh, of course, our pipeline throughputs have also improved. Our uh, sales figures have also improved. Uh, sales, uh, I would say the total sales quantity for the year uh, uh, overall have improved by 2.826 million tons for the whole year. Uh, last quarter sales, last quarter sales have been marginally lower uh, because of, uh, I mean, some effect in terms of diesel. I mean, diesel growth for the industry itself has been lower. Uh, probably as a consequence of uh, some of the uh, demonetization effect, etc. And probably I would also say better availability of power because diesel sales typically represents a majority of the, uh, the, the, the major portion of the uh, petroleum product sale. And because the power availability has been excellent throughout the country, the diesel demand for power generation, which used to be a good component of the overall diesel sales, has not been as high during the current year for the entire industry. So overall, if you look at the whole industry, there has been a flattish uh, type of growth for the whole industry. And uh, especially during the last quarter, the months of January and February have not been, I have also seen some amount of negative uh, growth. Uh, part of the problem is also because, I mean, uh, because yeah, of the volatility. Sir, uh, sir, actually, we are running out of time. So just a final question, uh, uh, the merger, sir. 
uh, especially with Chennai Petro. Can you update us on the latest? See, in, in this uh, 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 scenario of uh, great volatility in the marketplace, a standalone business definitely cannot sustain itself in the long run. Chennai Petro was under great difficulty. They were recording losses for uh, continuously for more than three years and they, ha they were almost about to uh, report themselves, uh, I mean they had even reported themselves in terms of uh, uh, the losses that they are making and uh, uh, in, in terms of the net worth uh, uh, falling to below 50 percent, they had to report themselves to BAFR. But uh, over the last couple of years again they have improved in terms of their performance and we had uh, declared record profits during the current year for Chennai Petro, which is a great turnaround story by itself. But then uh, the environment has been conducive, the operational performance has been excellent. Uh, but a standalone refinery will continue to have the problem that uh, it has uh, and it is always uh, better for an integrated entity to ha handle that. Okay,